Hello, this is my first video in English, so let's see what happened. Well, the goal of this video is because a, a couple days ago a teammate asked me a question about who changed the state in a database. So the answer is you can check all the things that happen in a database, all the changes in the security audit in the SQL instance. But the thing is, in this case, the audit is not enabled in the instance, in the SQL instance, so that could be a problem, but not much. So there's another way to know who, who has been doing changes in our database. Yeah, it's a very simple query. And to do this, we will need to create a query to use the SQL log. Let's start. Previously, I created this little script. We will need to create a new database. We will need a new table. I will insert a couple of records. Then I will delete one of those because I will show you how you can see this transaction in the query that we will create in a few more moments. And finally, I will change the state of the database with this query. Okay, so finished. As you can see, we have only one record in this table. If we check the database, we can see that the new database has the read-only state. So let's create our query. function db log and we will need two parameters as null. As you can see we have a lot of information right here but not all this information is helpful for us so let's to reduce our columns only to operation we will need the transaction name to identify all the transactions in our database we will need use another SQL function name as user as name we will need a parameter We will need transaction as ID to identify the transaction executed by a user. And with this function, we will know the name of the login that executed this transaction. An error here. Okay. And additionally, we can know the beginning time of the transaction okay. okay we have only 281 rows but we have more information that we required so let's do filter transaction name is not known so we have only a couple of registers and we can see all the, the transactions executed by this user but the specific transaction that we are looking for is transaction name equal dbmgr colon colon change db state with this value we'll try to find the moment and the user who executed this query and gotcha right here The 
database change was executed by this user at this time. And this is a very easy way to find who made a database state change. And if you want to see a delete transaction, we only need to change the value for this. And we will find that this user delete some record at this time and that was this one so this query can be very very helpful to have a good audit in our database with a simple query well that's it don't forget to subscribe to my channel i will try to upload new videos and even if you have some questions or if you have some issues in your projects or in your work, you can get in touch with me and I will try to help you. Thanks for your time. Keep in touch. See you around.